Hi, I'm Taryn and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. If you're new, I make a lot of skincare focused beauty content as well as fashion and life content. If that interests you, please be sure to check out my other videos, like this video, and subscribe. I'm doing another sunscreen review, but for the first time I am reviewing, demoing, and doing a first impressions of a mineral sunscreen. On my last sunscreen review video, I asked if anyone wanted me to review sunscreens for sensitive skin and Renee Campbell left me a comment that said, will you please review the new black girl sunscreen SPF 50 that is mineral and chemical. And that's the make it hybrid sunscreen. And I really want that sunscreen, but unfortunately it's out of stock, but I really can't wait to try that. And I check the website every day. I check my emails to see if it's back in stock. And so as soon as that is back in stock, I will be buying it and then reviewing it on this channel. But for this video, I looked into some other mineral sunscreens. I believe this is pronounced Coats, the healthier sunscreen. So this is what it looks like. I will put a link for you to purchase in the description box if you are interested. Before I start telling you about this sunscreen, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the difference between a mineral sunscreen versus a chemical sunscreen. Sometimes mineral sunscreens are referred to as physical sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens use chemicals to filter out UV rays. On the other hand, a mineral sunscreen physically blots out UV rays due to ingredients like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. I've read that mineral or physical sunscreens tend to be better suited for people that have sensitive skin or skin that is prone to breakouts. Because it uses titanium dioxide or zinc oxide, I feel like mineral sunscreens will probably be a little bit thicker in consistency than chemical sunscreens. But because of that, I feel like sometimes that does pose a risk if you are concerned about having a white cast on your face. I also read that mineral sunscreens are great for photo stability. So that means when the sunscreen is on your face and then you're exposed to the sun and UV rays, it won't degrade or become ineffective. With that said, I feel like I'm definitely gonna have to double cleanse tonight when I wash this off of my face. So now that we talked about that, I'm gonna go more into the copy that's on this box. So Coats, the healthier sunscreen, and I bought the Flawless Complexion Tinted Vanishing Sink Oxide Mineral Sunscreen and SPF 50 for the face. Coats, the healthier sunscreen, works by reflecting harmful UVA, UVB rays before they can penetrate the skin. Coats stands for Contains Only Titanium Zinc, Mineral sunscreen, 100% free of chemical sunscreens, oils, preservatives, fragrances, parabens, gluten, and pathylates. Coats Flawless Complexion SPF 50 provides mineral sun protection in a sheer, lightweight tinted cream that virtually vanishes on most skin tones. Moisturizes to leave a soft, even finish. 20% zinc oxide is ideal for all skin types, even sensitive, rosacea prone, or breakout prone skin. Sheer tint, moisturizing, non comedogenic, helps prevent signs of aging. This also says reef friendly. I've heard that a lot about mineral sunscreens. This also says they don't test on animals, it's preservative free, and TSA approved. That active ingredient is the zinc oxide in 20%. And this says to apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure, use a water resistant product is swimming or sweating. Reapply at least every two hours. I did read that mineral sunscreens are not waterproof. So that is something to take note of if you are concerned about maybe you're going to be sweating or going to the beach or to the pool. I would prefer to use a chemical sunscreen if that is what I'm currently doing. I'm just going to be in the house. So I'm excited to try this. So this is what it looks like. Okay. And it has a safety protective seal. Okay, so you see that tint. Okay, so you see it's tinted. And it is thicker. This looks like a foundation. I don't know. If I have used a mineral sunscreen, I haven't used one in a long time. So I'm just gonna start off with this much. My first impression is that this definitely looked like a foundation and it kind of applied as such. It definitely took me a lot longer than when I typically apply my chemical sunscreens to work this into the skin. And I feel like it still needs some time to kind of settle into the skin. If you can look in my hairline that you can still see 
that line of the sunscreen and then where my skin isn't protected by the sun. So I'm waiting for this to kind of settle in, I guess, because it is a physical sunscreen. The finish is nice, but it definitely feels oily and it felt oily, like especially when you're putting it on your fingers, but there's no oils in the sunscreen. I like the idea of a physical sunscreen because I feel like it helps you to see where you applied all the sunscreen. It does work in and I feel like it's definitely settling onto my skin better now because you can see like it doesn't look as like I have as much as a white cast, especially when I was first applying it. So I think it is doing a little bit better. So I think this sunscreen will work out when it comes to being suitable for all skin tones, which I'm pretty sure it is. I took some pictures and it doesn't look like there's a white cast on my face at all, but we'll see through the day how this settles in. I'll come back later in the day to let you know how the sunscreen is faring. It's only been over five hours since I first applied the sunscreen, but I'm really pleasantly surprised. I was really uneasy about whether or not this was gonna have me looking like a butterball because it was so slippery after it set into my skin. But now that it's been a while, it actually doesn't feel as oily and greasy to the touch. I think it was just maybe some type of component to make it more malleable and able to be spread across your face. So maybe that's what that was, but it did stay kind of oily and it felt a bit greasy for maybe one, one and a half hours after I applied it. It might've even been a shorter time. I am kind of unsure of whether or not I would apply this under makeup, like foundation, that kind of thing. Maybe if you have a drier skin. I ended up not being worried about the cast at all. There is no cast. It definitely blended into my skin very well. I was kind of nervous about it being a tinted sunscreen because I was kind of curious as to what tint could that be? Because you know how some BB creams and CC creams and those kind of things, you'll buy the tint based off of your shade. So I was kind of curious about that, but as you can see, it blended into my skin very nicely. As you might know, this sunscreen is HSA and FSA approved, if that is applicable to you. I purchased this off Amazon just because I was buying a bunch of different things off my HSA account. So this sunscreen is 2.5 ounces or 70 grams and it currently retails for $25 on Amazon. I have noticed that a lot of mineral sunscreens are more expensive compared to chemical sunscreens. However, if I were to go to buy this same sunscreen off of the Coats website, it would be $27.50. So it's two and a half dollars cheaper on Amazon. I did purchase another mineral sunscreen that I'm waiting to come in. And then, like I mentioned, I really wanna try the Black Girl sunscreen, make it hybrid sunscreen. I'm super excited to try that out. And I hate that I missed that sunscreen release. I do think the sunscreen would be great for people with sensitive skin or people whose skin is sensitive to breakouts. I do think this is a great alternative to chemical sunscreens. And fortunately it is great. I'm assuming for all different skin tones, that's what it says. And after I applied it, I did go look at some before and after pictures of people that applied the sunscreen. And there's like from fair to deep complexions, it does blend in nicely. So I don't think that is something to be concerned about if you are hesitant to purchase this sunscreen. Huh, so how would I rate this sunscreen? I would honestly, I would give this a good rating. The price is steep but so are like Elta MD and those brands as well. So I can't really base it off that, but it is a good sunscreen. It blended in well, especially for it to be a mineral sunscreen, which I feel like those are known to have really bad white cast. So I honestly would give this an A plus. I think it's great that there is a dark skin friendly sunscreen that is a mineral sunscreen. I think that's really great and good to have on the market. If there are any other products that you want me to review, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment for more videos. Thank you again. Yeah, I was, I will say like it had me in the first half. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of nervous, but it seems to be good. It seems to be great.